Here's what's hot this week. What's up, y'all? I'm Mia Bell, and this week, Fat Joe, Nori, Big Ben, and Funk Flex revisit the life and legacy of Big Pun. Take a look. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not, because I never heard of any piece of him anywhere. But a part of you is from the Bronx, so you like, let's give him I, a My respect for Joe. It, it was, uh, I was hoping. It was in the Bronx? Like, no, it was, it, here, if Joe, here, I, this is what I really thought was gonna happen, Joe, and I never, t I thought he was gonna be trash. <laughs> and we're gonna rush this nigga out. And I'm gonna be able to tell Joe, I told you don't bring no loose niggas down here. I was dying to tell him that. I was living for it. So I gave, I gave, I was a little harder on Pun too. Okay. Cause I'm like, I wanna be able to tell these niggas. Yeah, get him out of here. He go in there and all the rappers is talking. He starts spitting, nobody's looking at him yet. And he get into that wiggity diggity. West Coast rapper Blueface talks his new single, Tatiana, and calls himself the next big thing. Take a look as his manager, WAC 100, also gives new artists some gems. At what point did this guy, WAC 100, start calling? Uh, he, he's like, uh, getting into the summer. Getting into the what summer. was the first thing he said to you? Uh, yeah, sent me a DM. He was pretty much uh, just give me some recognition, telling me that he was a Cash Money West rep and that we could put the put the machine behind what I already had going and it would just go faster. And that's what we've been doing. Yeah, and it's gone fast. Exactly. <laughs> it's gone very fast. Exactly. <laughs> Look, we've all watched an artist come out, have a big record, they ride the buzz, they pick up all the bags. Right, right, right. And while they riding the buzz, Giving y'all, uh, right. by the way, giving y'all the cheat code right L now. Listen, Pay while he's ride, ride, they're riding the buzz, right? They're not feeding the system anything Don't else. Don't tell him now, too much, right? Now, now, hold on, hold on. Don't tell like, him too much. You got the song out of 10. Come on, Cash Money West, man. Look, you got the song out of 10, but you're not feeding them nothing. Every month, he's feeding them something. Prayers up for 21 Savage as the Atlanta based rapper is currently facing deportation. Organizations such as Black Lives Matter and a host of others are putting their contacts together to help free the rapper ASAP. Take a look at what Ebro in the Morning had to say. Now, I get that this is a sad story, right? And everybody fried up, well, by everybody, I mean Wale and then 21 Savage fans fried up Demi Lovato and ran her off social media yesterday because she said she was laughing at 21 Savage memes. The 21 Savage memes mostly were about the discovery that he was a, a UK national and that his name might have been, what did they call him? Sir, Sir Savage, Savage the 21st. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. That is it's funny. Not, it's not making fun of his situation. No. It's making fun of the random realization that he's British in some way. Ebro in the Morning reacts to actor Liam Neeson stating that he had the urge to kill a black bastard after his friend was allegedly raped by a black man. Liam Neeson, what the hell are you smoking, bro? I'll tell you a story. This is true. Hit him with the congratulations you played yourself. Congratulations, you played yourself. I'm sure it's not going to slow down any of his movie roles, but... And not that I was running out to see every Liam Neeson movie that dropped. I was done after the first taking. But <laughs> this is how the BS starts, man. If you're one of those people that can hear this audio and go, nah, I can relate to that, that's the origins of the BS. Critics are a little confused about J-Lo's involvement in the Grammy's Motown tribute. So am I. Y'all trying to catch these it's Twitter beat down. You wrote J-Lo out there on the Motown uh, tribute, and it ain't supported by some yeah. real soul singers and some real singing. Damn. And some and some black folks. Yeah. You, try, you, you are trying to upset Cardi people. Cardi B is going to get her leash. <laughs> I, they also, have to bring out other people. They and, have to. And but yo, you know what I hate about it? I hate, I hate it because I love J-Lo. Yes, like, I, don't, I, don't, I do too. I, I don't want to make it sound like I don't want J-Lo to participate in a Motown tribute. I don't mind. Time for comment clapbacks. I want to see what you guys said all last week, so let's jump into it. Lavetta Lewis from YouTube says, are we going TMZ with this? This is the radio. Well, actually, Lavetta, this is Hot This Week, and I do a recap for everything that went down at the station and everything that was talked about. So, no, it ain't TMZ. It's Hot This Week, okay? Kaylin Cochran from YouTube says, Mia Bell look blown. I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. If you guys could translate in the comments for me, please do that. Do I look blown? Sean Brown from YouTube says, radio DJs should stay in their lane and press play. You know what, I'm done with y'all. You stay in your lane and keep commenting, okay boo? 
Be sure to check out Hot 97's Who's Next Leaderboard Live. It goes down every Wednesday with our host, Shaw Boogie, where he rates all of the music that you send into Hot 97's Facebook Messenger. And make sure you follow all of our Spotify playlists in heavy rotation, Who's Next, and New AF. I'm Mia Bell, and for everything hot this week, hot97.com, Monday nights, 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. And stay tuned for my interview with Afrobeat. If you don't know who I'm talking about, Jo, Jo, Joanna, that record. Yes, it's coming out next week. So stay tuned for all of that. I gotta go. Bye. Subscribe to Hot 97.